middle school, high school maybe. And um, I remember feeling angry and survivor's guilt. Ever wondered what the last words of pilots whose planes were about to crash were? Like what do these brave men say when they suddenly realize that they have lost control of the plane and they could also lose their own lives in a crash in a matter of minutes? Thanks to the black box, which was introduced into planes in 1940, we can understand what went wrong before an accident as we listen to every conversation between the pilot, co-pilot, and the control tower while they battled to keep the plane in the air. In today's video, we go behind the scenes to the cockpit of planes that were involved in some of the most horrifying air disasters in the world to find out what it was like among the men whose responsibility it was to stir the plane out of danger. We find out what the last words of these terrified pilots were just before the unfortunate incidents. Our first incident is a rather tragic one. German Wings Flight 9525 was an international passenger flight scheduled to go from Barcelona El Prat Airport in Spain to Dusseldorf Airport in Germany on the 24th of March 2015. Operated by German Wings, the carrier owned by the German airline Lufthansa took off at 10.01 a.m. CET, 26 minutes behind schedule, and was due to arrive at its destination by 11.39 CET. But 30 minutes into the flight after crossing the French coast near Toulon, the aircraft began to descend rapidly, having left its assigned cruising altitude of 38,000 feet without approval. The air traffic controller declared the aircraft in distress after its descent and loss of radio contact. 11 minutes passed between the loss of radio contact with Flight 9525 and its eventual crash. Initial reports were hard to believe as according to the first statements from the French Air Accident Bureau, the plane was still under the pilot's control all through the period and there were no signs of an explosion or malfunction that may have explained the crash. The black box helped make things clearer. Officials revealed that the crash was deliberately caused by the co-pilot, Andreas Lupitz. He had previously been treated for suicidal tendencies and declared unfit to work by his doctor, but Lupitz kept this information from his employer. That day, when the flight's captain left the cockpit, Lubitz locked the doors, took control of the plane, and directed it into a descent, killing everyone on board. As the plane descended toward its crash, the captain can be heard shouting, Open the damn door. The captain also took an axe to the door in an attempt to gain access to the cockpit again. Audio recordings captured the screaming of passengers and blaring alarms. The Airbus A320-211 crashed 100 kilometers northwest of Nice in the French Alps. All 144 passengers and six crew members were killed. The TAM Airlines Flight 3054 was a flight from Porto Alegre to Sao Paulo, Brazil by an Airbus A320 airplane. On July 17, 2007, the plane missed the runway at Sao Paulo and crashed into a TAM Express building and a Shell gas station. The cause of the plane crash is traceable to a pilot error because it was raining. All 187 people on board the plane and 12 people on the ground were killed. This was Brazil's worst airplane disaster. The black box assisted us in picking the last words of the pilot before the incident took place. And as brief as that, 199 people lost their lives. The Chape Coense accident, better known as Lamia Flight 2933, was a charter flight of an Avro RJ85, operated by Lamia. The incident occurred on the 28th of November 2016. The plane crashed near Medellin, Colombia, killing 71 of the 77 people on board. The aircraft was transporting the first team squad of Brazilian football club Chapecoense and their entourage from Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia to Medellin, where the team was scheduled to play at the 2016 Copa Sudamericana Americana Finals. 
One of the four crew members, three of the players, and two other passengers survived with injuries. It is recorded as the biggest air disaster in Medellin. The black box helped us in tracking the last words of the pilot with the tower just before the incident. The aircraft type was Avro RJ85, and it was operated by Lamia with ICAO flight number LMI2933 and registration CP2933. The flight was from Viru Viru International Airport, Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia, to Jose Maria Cordova International Airport, Rio Negro, Colombia. The total number of occupants on the flight was 77, 73 of them were passengers while four were crew members. It recorded 71 fatalities, six people were injured while six also survived the accident. Although the exact date and time of the royal taxi is not mentioned, the accident happened with two crew members, a pilot and a co-pilot. They all died in the accident. Conversations by the pilot just before the incident happened were recorded by the black box in the plane. Não vem rápido, vem devagar, traz devagar. Não perde o erro. Está desbalanceado. Há um ex-combustível para mim. Vou morrer. 
The Gol air crash happened on the 29th of September 2006. The Gol Transportes Aeros Flight 1907, a Boeing 737-800, on a scheduled domestic passenger flight from Manaus, Brazil, to Brasilia and Rio de Janeiro, collided mid-air with an Embraer Legacy 600 business jet flying on an opposite heading over the Brazilian state of Mato Grosso. The winglet of the Legacy sliced off about half of the 737's left wing, causing the 737 to break up and crash into an area of dense jungle, killing all 154 passengers and crew. Despite sustaining serious damage to its left wing and tail, the Legacy landed with its seven occupants uninjured. The recorded last words of the pilot before the incident were as follows. <laughs> <laughs> the crash recorded 154 fatalities with no survivors. Air France Flight 447, or AF447, or AFR447, was a scheduled international passenger flight from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to Paris, France. On the 31st of May 2009, inconsistent airspeed indications led to the pilot inadvertently stalling the Airbus A330 serving the flight. Here's the recorded conversation between the pilot and co-pilot just before the accident. The pilot failed to recover the plane from the stall, and the plane crashed into the mid-Atlantic Ocean at 7.29 p.m., killing all 228 passengers and crew on board. And that's a wrap for today's video. Many thanks for staying with us till the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this.